Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Yak back with another video and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a quick guide on how to unlock the iron checkpoint crate. All you have to do to unlock this character is find a hidden Beanox crate on every single raceable track. Now this excludes the PS4 exclusive retro track, so this means it sums up to a total of 39 tracks. Now I will be doing this in order from the first track in CTR all the way to the last Grand Prix track. So if you want to follow along as I do this and just pause the video, go right ahead. Also, I just want to inform you guys that once you hit the crate, you can actually quit the game, as long as you let the little icon in the bottom left save before you do so. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting on Crash Cove, when you jump off this ramp at the very beginning and go the shortcut route, just go across this bridge over to the pirate ship and you'll see it behind this pole right here. Moving on to Mystery Caves, when you go across this turn at the very beginning, instead of taking the shortcut, go the normal route and then cut to the left in between these rocks. In Sewer Speedway, simply go the shortcut route and then go the normal way and you'll see it off to the right before you fall off. As for Ruse Tubes, you can find it once you exit the tube for the first time, it'll be off to the left. In Slide Coliseum, you'll see the box right behind the first set of tires that you can interact with. In Turbo Track, you can see the box off to the left side in the shadows when you pass the three U-turns. When you're on Coco Park, cut to the left to where the water is when you first start the race and you can see it barely off the edge. After you complete the big turn at the start of Tiger Temple, you can see it off to the left behind this wall. In Papu's Pyramid, the crate can be seen behind the third pillar along this turn. Just before jumping off this ramp to end the race in Dingo Canyon, just jump into the waterfall and collect the crate. Just before the final jump on Polar Pass, cut off to the left and you'll find it right behind this wall. In Tiny Arena, you can find the crate stuck in the mud right here before you cut off to a bunch of the humps. In Dragon Mines, the crate can be found just before the waterfall and the treasure. When you approach the ice in Blizzard Bluff, instead of taking the shortcut, cut off to the right and you'll see it in front of this fence. After the very awkward turn at the end of Hot Air Skyway, if you slowly approach the left side of the track, you can fall right onto the box. As for Cortex Castle, when you approach the steps that spiral downward, after you fall down the second stair, you can find it lodged in the corner. On Engines Labs, you can find it hidden behind this wall before you go into the long boost pad area. On Oxide Station, simply fall off to the right after you fall down this ledge with the box on it. If you go behind this ramp on the right side of Inferno Island, you can see it just on the shoreline. When you're approaching the finish line on Jungle Boogie, just cut off to the left at the end of the bridge. Clockwork Wumpa's crate is simply found behind the ramp that's used for the shortcut. Android Alley's crate is simply located just before the second window on the right side. On Electron Avenue, simply jump behind the right ramp that's used for the U-turn shortcut. On Deep Sea Driving, you can look behind the tentacle in the start of the map and you'll see it wedged in this corner. Immediately after starting on Thunderstruck, you can jump down the first step at the beginning and you'll see it right behind you. If you turn around immediately on Tiny Temple, you can see it at the end of the road. On Meteor Gorge, the crate is awkwardly put behind this little post. Instead of taking the shortcut, just cut off to the right and you can squeeze behind and grab it. If you go to the very start of the shortcut on Barren Ruins, you can find the crate right at the beginning. Instead of taking the shortcut and out of time, just go straight and you'll find it next to all these mushrooms. On assembly lane, once you go into the treadmill area in the factory, you can find the box right off to the right. On hyperspaceway, just go the normal route instead of the shortcut and you'll find it right behind the wall at the very bottom. On twilight tour, you can find the box right behind this tent. On prehistoric park, just take the shortcut backwards and you can't miss it. After exiting the last portal on Spyro Circuit, you can find the crate right at the beginning of the road. On Nina's Nightmare, you must jump over this little stone wall at the beginning of the track. After you hit the second jump on Koala Carnival, you just turn right around and it'll be in the left corner. 
On Gingerbread Joyride, you need to skip the shortcut and instead go off the top platform, but slow down right before you hit the ramp. On Mega Mix Mania, you can find the crate under this bridge to the left just before the finish line. Finally, after the long hill, you can see the box floating off to the right. So that wraps it up for this character guide. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Then you can actually unlock his other skins by just winning races like every other character. Please let me know if this guide helped you guys out and if you guys need any other guides on anything else. I'm also super active on Instagram. You can find me at its.yak. So thanks for tuning in. Stay healthy and I'll catch you guys next time.